Scooter was knocked that off. I think. Yeah, I did. Where is he at? Scooter wasn't here for the first time. Catman do not Scooter. I mean Catman do. What are you doing in there? Call him. He's coming. We ain't, we ain't made his mind up to come all the way yet. There he comes. Where is he behind a chair? I can't see him now. Oh, he's roaming around a little bit. He's scared of me. Grabbing that man, he calls me. Look. Mmm. Alpha. This is the first time he's ever ventured this far into the lower part of the house. My damn phone's ringing here. Yep. She was going to give him a swat, wasn't she? He smells his blanket. Look out, look out. <laughs> she went right up to him like she was going to smack him and didn't do it. But she ran right up to his nose. I believe he's afraid of her. I believe he's afraid of her. He should be. Yeah, if you got good sense, you would be. <laughs> you get him, Mama? So get up those steps, you damn cat, you. Well, we're bound to pick up those uh, cleavers and those knives from my seafood buddy. Then we've got to do a little grocery shopping. Then we go back home and charge with some knives, I guess. Stand by. Yeah, they're all about that side. Hey, how you doing, Tommy? Okay, Cal Harry, how you doing, man? All right, buddy. 
<laughs> that was a seafood business today, okay? It's all right. Yeah, all the boats are out. It's going to be good tomorrow and Monday. All the bass boats are out, the flounder boats. One of these. Golden tile. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Roger, how you doing in a lot of? <laughs> well, a seafood man. Like I said, I did this. I did this cleaver and this cleaver approximately six or seven months ago for him. Them two big cleavers. Now all these knives. He, was, he just bought, not all of them, but most of them, Heckles and Wolstoffs. He bought from uh, a friend of mine who works for Williams in Sonoma. Uh, I guess he's had them about four months. I don't know what this is. Magic something. Made in Germany. Saboteur. These must have been some he had at his home originally. Because I know all he bought from her was Wolstoff's. Anyway, we got a gathering. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight knives and two big cleavers. We got some action today and tomorrow. Now this is what we call a Cali. In the knife world, it's called a Cali. It's a 1 by 42 inch Kalamazoo belt grinder. This is on a spring. You push that down, you slide the belt over that pulley at the bottom. And it turns at 1700 RPMs. Stand by. Okay, it's set up now. Now you see I start off with a what they call an A160 belt. They're uh, 3M Trizac. And 160 is a roughly 120 grit belt, so it's kind of coarse. Now I only use this thing on machetes and hatchets and axes and big restaurant type chef's knives or knives that I have to reprofile and put a new, you know, before I can sharpen them on the uh Wicked edge if they're in really bad, dull, flat bladed shape or just need to reprofile it. It does a fantastic job. Uh, the belts run anywhere from 160 up to A3. A3 is a, a like 4,000 grit belt. And then they have A, A6, which is a 2500 they have them all in between they have ace 30s a 16s a 45s a 65s the uh, higher number meaning the harder grip it is you know the higher the, the lower number grip the coarser so they go from 160s up to th a threes that's the ones that I have I get those custom made from a fellow named Doug Rising in Texas. That's about the only thing he messes with is tries to add custom belts. They work pretty nice. I'm getting ready to do those two big cleavers in a few minutes. I'll show you how it works. Stand by. I mean, if you just Google Kalamazoo or belt grind and there's enough videos, I, you know, I'm not really going to go into any detail because you can find all you want on YouTube. And everybody uses a different type of grinder. I used to have a, I still got it, I shouldn't say, I used to. Right there is a Harbor Freight 1x30. I used it for a year or so. It was a, uh, it was pretty nice. It turns real fast though. But once you got used to it, it, you, it was just, you just had to be careful because it would heat your blades up because it turns so fast. I have a, assorted belts for it as well. Okay, I got to get to work. Stand by. 
And what you do is you just turn this on. And you take the big cleaver or axe or hatchet or machete. And you just hold it up there. Lay it up against the belt. The belt does all the work. See, it's already nice. But these weren't too bad to take because I just sharpened them six months ago. But George uses them on fish heads and rabbits and stuff like that. Okay, I'll see you later. My uh, knife sheaves came in from uh, Safety Products while I was sharpening out uh, George's knives. Stand by. These are the large ones for chef's knives. You know, I think they call these two and a quarters. And I use more of these and more of the small ones than any other kind. I got I got 300 of those. I got 150 of the one and three quarters. I got 150 of the one and a quarters. And I got 300 of these, the small ones. I use a lot of those small ones. People like them. They turn out. They do a nice job on the knives. So I had each time I've been ordered a few more of each kind. But I ended up. This might get me through the summer, but I hope not. We'll see how it goes. See you later. Well, I didn't bore you with all the sharpening because you know how the sharpening goes. I just give you the finished product. That's one of George's big cleavers. You can see it's nice and sharp. I hope you can see it anyway. I don't know how this looks from where you are. And then we got the great old Big Daddy one. It weighs about, I don't know how much it weighs. I'm scared to find out. You can see it's a shade sharper than the other one. And then, that's George's uh, wrist off, like a little slicer, utility type knife. And then we got another type of wrist off. Utility. And then we got a big heckle. Hello, eight inch heckle. And then we got some kind of sand two cup. Magic line, it says. That ain't too bad. Then we got a big saboteur. This is a nice knife here. It's heavy, thick. It's nice and thick. And the last of the Tiquitos is this nice serrated knife. It's a fizzle also, made in Germany. Serrated. This bad boy is bad. Bad for serrated knife. It's sharper than the one I did yesterday. That lady. Don't you know, ask me why. I sharpened them both the same way. 
I might put more, more effort or something in. I don't know. Some, sometimes they just get that way as a steel or whatever. But that's a fine serrated knife right there. Ooh. That's the living end. I'll use some of my sheets and put them to good use. See you in a little while. I think we're going out to dinner with low tide Tim tonight. Eat some seafood.